Welcome and thank you for joining me. This is Laurie of Laurie's Heirloom Sewing. I wanted to show you the mini progress and by mini I mean M-I-N-I, -I, little tiny bit. Um, my little Joybird sofa has been completely cleared off and I'm going to spin you around sort of slowly here okay and we'll see if I can do this tra la la so as you can see shelves have been built and shelves have been filled they're probably not in their permanent places, but it's a start. And I had to put stuff somewhere um, to just kind of make room for me. But both sides of the sliding closet, I'll just pull back. This closet, I think, was used as a in the house or the owners who had the house prior to us I think we're using this as an office they had kind of built a desk on one side and then the left side was just completely open over here it, there were no shelves there was no bar to hang things it was just sort of empty space that I just had piled stuff in during the move, in the frantic, frantic move. Um, so, I have a class on Friday that um, is an open sew, and I wanted to be able to get to my cutting table um, because I'm actually attending the class. I'm not hosting or holding the class. And I have so much over on that side that I need to be able to get to, um, you know, as far as my traveling scissors go, uh, my project materials are buried in that um, ginormous mess. I have um, my pattern, I just every single thing that I need to take to the open sew, <laughs> with the exception of my sewing machine, um, is over on that table. So, my plan. Uh, for the rest of this week is to get my materials gathered up and put them in this box right here. I got this at Target. They told me that it was half off when I purchased it. It was like the day after Christmas. Yeah, it was December 26th. I don't still have the receipt, but on the day after Christmas, it, there was a sign in Target that said all plastic storage containers 50% off. There was not a, you know, buy one, get one half, buy two, get one free. It was all of them are 50% off. And this one was marked at like $7.94. I think that $94 has some significance. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like I remember hearing that when a, a chain has a, a 94 cents, um, you know, at the end of their pricing, it there's a reason for that. But anyway, I it was not. Yeah, I, and I just, being who I am and being in a tremendous amount of pain, I didn't want to argue. I probably should have, um, but I was told that it the price that rang up was the 50% off price, but the price that was marked did not indicate that it was, you know, that that was what was going on. So I don't know, um, but you know, when your legs hurt, your knees hurt and your hips hurt you're just kind of not really in that frame of mind where you want to go wait a minute but the reason I bought this is it is a double decker kind of thing and I feel like I can put a little bit more um, you know they 
like I could put my um, notions or something in the bottom and my fabrics in the top or vice versa. Um, the only thing that really delineates the top is the, the little handle and otherwise yeah, they're basically ideal, identical in size. They're both exactly the same. So that is going to be going with me. I found this. Um, we're still cleaning out the garage and um, this is a Masterson Palette Keeper I think is what it's called and basically it is and I, every bit of this is going to be tossed um, unfortunately because we moved with this stuff in my Palette Keeper and it's all dried up and awful and just looking at it reminds me of how awful that move was um, physically, you know, I just, I, I got completely beaten up. But basically what you do is you put a piece of palette paper in here, if you're, if you paint, and, um, you can keep your paint, you know, put your paints on the palette, and then spritz it with some water, and then, uh, if it's an acrylic, obviously, and then close it up and come back to it the next day, and your paints should be, um, you know, Good enough to use uh, for your project um, but you do have to make sure that it's closed and that's the one thing about this one from day one it has been really hard to seal and you have to really make sure that every corner and every side and every every little spot is sealed off but if you do that it's it's just perfect okay the other thing oh Oops, the other thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm going to just kind of use this as a table, um, is I have developed this insatiable urge to do some wool felting. I've never, ever, ever, or needle felting, never done it before, um, but I have seen some of the most absolutely cutest things. One of the reasons that I think it really translates well to the type of sewing that I do is that you could actually make felted or needle felted appliques, even a 3D type thing that could go on um, a bag or maybe a child's dress or a jacket or, you know, a hat, whatever. Um, the first project that I'm going to do, because I, I purchased this to try first, everybody said this was easy, and I will link everything as soon as I get the kit. Um, it, it's uh, five robin, literally five little robin birds, and they're all on a disc of wood. So they have little feet, and they stand on this little disc, and then you do the little bodies, and you know, they're little... They're so cute. But I went ahead and ordered this because every single video I've watched has talked about the need for a um, foam pad. And I wanted to have some extra felting needles because from what I've seen, it's really easy to break them. So I ordered this off of Amazon. Um, it's Wool Queen. Um, neat needle felting. I don't know if that's even showing because my camera is turned around. Okay. Uh, so if all of that was not on camera, I apologize. Anyway, so this is called the um, Wool Queen and it's the needle felting tool set and it was like five dollars I think on Amazon. And again, when I get everything, we will um, we'll be talking about it and doing it and I will have the links in the description box below if this is on YouTube. So let's just see, I have to open it because I'm so excited by the whole prospect of doing something brand new. I have so many plans floating around in my head. Okay, so this truly is a piece of foam that, that's weird, it's just foam, okay? And then I'll get to this in just a minute. And then there are, in this little acrylic tube, 
apparently there are six felting needles. I know nothing about felting needles. Like, are they the same size? They appear to be the same size. Let's see. I think they may be basically the same size. They, I'm so used to sewing machine needles. Wait a minute, no they're not. They are not the same size. They're At least they're not the same length because here are the ends down here and as you can see the actual needle part is like all different sizes. So I'm sure that is explained in the paperwork. We will pop these back into this little acrylic tube. I desperately want it to be glass, but it's not. And it's probably a good thing probably a good thing because I would likely drop it and break it. Okay. So this says felting needles is a very sharp mangular needle with downward pointing barbs at the tip of the shaft. Okay, so it's not going to discuss specifically these six needles. It's just kind of telling me uh, felting tool guide, shapes and tips, um, how to color mix. Um, you basically can get different colors with your, um, what's it called, rove? There's a word for that ball of yarn that you get. It has a name and I think it's Rove. But I could be wrong, we're gonna learn all about that. Okay, so I'll just keep everything here together. Um, so when the little bird kit arrives, we will be probably starting on that. I, at some point, I'm doing a jacket for my sister when the pattern and fabrics come. And in the middle of doing that, we are also going to be working on heirloom sewing. So we're going to learn some very basic heirloom and we'll move into a little bit more advanced heirloom and then into some complicated heirloom sewing. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I've wanted to share the heirloom sewing techniques that I know with you guys. I want to inspire you to try something new. And the reason I say that, first of all, to be more inspiring is my brand new 2020 New Year's resolution. Um, I'm trying really hard to avoid bringing negative energy and avoid bringing um, you know toxic thoughts it's not like that's something I do but I want to be more conscious of what I'm doing for other people um, and I decided that to be more inspiring is kind of where I'm headed so I hope that by offering your uh, painting options, wool felting options, sewing options, um, craft sewing options, as well as clothing options. And hey, you know what? Clothing options for yourself with the fabric that you like and for the body that you have what could be more inspiring? I think that is such a great thing to do for yourself. Um, I hope that this year, if you are really interested in sewing something for yourself, whether it's a shirt, a jacket, a pair of pants, a skirt, an apron, what, whatever you want to sew for yourself, I hope you will attempt it and I hope you will reach out to either me or someone that you might know that you feel comfortable talking to about help if you need it. So my hope is that we can get everybody on board 
with some of the um, positive, wonderful things that sewing and creating will do for you. There is nothing that is more satisfying than wanting to do something and doing something with your hands. If you want to craft, if you want to paint, if you want to sew, if you want to do wool felting or cross stitch or whatever it is that just makes your heart sing when you think about it. I hope you will consider doing it and do it before you lose that feeling. Because you know, as you go throughout the year, there is always that, oh, that, oh my gosh, is it really already April and we got to do this and now it's spring and I've got to work in the yard and I really don't want to. You know, do it now while that energy is high and you really don't keep saying, oh, I have to wait for a sale or oh, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Just do it. Just do it. Start it and finish it. And then in December of this year, you're going to look back and say, oh my gosh, I made a fill in the blank thing that I love. Or I started painting in January and by December I had all my Christmas gifts done. My, my, I gave, I'm giving everybody a painting. Whatever it is, just I hope and hope and hope that you will just jump in, be inspired, and do it. Um, so I don't really remember where I was going with that big long ramble, but anyway, hold your light high. Be inspiring for someone else. Be blessed and be a blessing to someone else and bring blessings to those around you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you guys back here with either the uh, jacket and tote for my sister or the wool felting kit or what was the other? Oh, um, some type of heirloom because we've got those three options. That's what's coming up. Thank you again.